The main line was another Southern California joke line. This was recorded by Ben Decibel during his trip to Southern California in the summer of 1974 from Barry's house in Van Nuys. Excuse me for breaking in here on, on the main line, but uh, I couldn't help... Oh, I'm sorry. You don't know me. I'm Inspector LaDumbo, and I was just very curious to know something. You know, it's funny. My mother always said I was very curious. I didn't believe her. But anyway, I saw you yesterday, and I didn't want to embarrass you in front of all those people, so that's why I decided to give you a call. Anyway, uh, oh, uh, do you mind if I smoke? <laughs> you know, it's, it's funny. For the longest time, I couldn't stand the smell of a good cigar. That's why I stick with these cheapies. Good cigar smoke, it's, it's very bad for your lungs. Very, very unhealthy. Anyway, what I wanted to ask you was, uh, was, uh, you know, you know, I, I can't remember what I wanted to ask you. Hey, look, I'll, I'll, I'll call you back. If I cause you any convenience, I'm very sorry, but I want to thank you for your time. Uh, very sorry. Thank you. Larry Blatt, your weather eye in the sky uh, for Los Angeles and vicinity. Smog seems to be at an all-time low today. Uh, I can even see the Los Angeles City Hall. Uh, probably one of the other reasons why I can see the Los Angeles City Hall is because it's only 10 feet in front of me. Uh, this is going to be a close one. Larry Blatt reporting from the top floor of the Los Angeles City Hall. Once upon a time, in a friendly neighborhood supermarket... Three for a dollar. Excuse me, honey. Fill this empty detergent box with all the money in your register. And don't make any funny noise. Good heavens, a robbery. Oh, and a pack of uh, menthol 100s. The getaway was clean until... Hi, I'm Lenny McCracken, and I'm going to take away your box of detergent and give you two of another leading brand. Hey, I'm really not excited about uh, excuse that. Excuse me, ma'am, but I'd like you to spot inspect these three spoons at random and tell us what you think of the middle one. I think I need help. The police quickly arrived and arrested the lady for impersonating an average housewife, making the world a little safer for mom, apple pie, and lemon-scented motor oil. <laughs> This is John Cameron Swayback in downtown Los Angeles with another amazing demonstration of the durability of the mainline t-shirt. We've scotch taped 100 of these shirts together to form a huge trampoline. Perched high atop this 80-story building is the craziest circus family in the world, the Flying Rearendas. What are we gonna do is a dive from the top of this very tall building into the trampoline causing no injury to either the t-shirts or our own little rear -enders. Hey, that's a little joke. <laughs> hey, swear back. That's a summer springy t-shirt. Get the t-shirt that put the flying rear -enders back on top. Specify size and send us your name and address along with $3. Check your money orders payable to the main line at P.O. Box 466. A2, Hollywood, California, 90046. Make your checks or money orders for $3 to the main line at P.O. Box 466A2, Hollywood, California, 90046. We're a little late, so good night. Hi, y'all. Just thought I'd come by and tell y'all that the main line has fresh material. Hi, we're here in a normal-looking store, and we're talking to Mrs. I declare. And uh, what do you think of the main line's fresh material? Well, I don't know. I keep getting a busy signal. You know, sometimes the taste of a fine mahogany table drenched in 30-weight oil just ain't enough for my hungry appetite. That's why I'm so excited about the main line's new fresh material. Get excited about the main line's fresh material with your very own main line t-shirt to wear or give to a friend. Just send us your name and address and all that other important stuff. Specify size and send $3 checks or money orders payable to the main line at P.O. Box 46682, Hollywood, California, 90046. 
That's the main line, P.O. Box 46682, Hollywood, California, 90046. Hey, come here. I got a surefire way of getting into the main line. No busy signal. Now, I know this guy named Louie, who, for a slight nominal fee, will turn you on to this address of an old lady who lives in Sicily, and she knows a special number, which I happen to have on my person, and will now demonstrate to you how it works. Now, you just dial this special number, and the next thing you know, it's ringing. And then, the funny stuff. Hey, come here. I got a surefire way of getting into the main line. No busy signal. Now, I know this guy named Louie, who for a slight nominal fee, will turn you on to this address of an old lady who lives in Sicily. File this under Mainline Miscellanea. The line, are you ready? The line at the bank was so long today. How, How long, long was it? Yeah, was it? So long that when I got to the teller, she asked me for an e-coupon. Yes, sir. May I have your order, sir? Yeah, I'd like an order of french fries, please. I'm sorry, sir. We're out of fries. Okay, I'll just have a chocolate shake, then, I'm please. I'm sorry. Our shake machine is broken tonight, sir. Oh, well, Thank you. Oh, have well, a nice uh, day. Now, wait. Thanks, now, just a guy. This is an historic moment, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking here with a man who claims to know absolutely nothing. That's right. And what is your name, sir? I don't know. You see, it's just like I told you. I don't know nothing. The main line presents another in a series of useless tests. The National Dumb Test. Scored 10 points for each incorrect answer. Who invented the apple? A. Washington Apple. B. Sir Isaac Fig. C. Eve, formerly of the comedy team of Adam and Eve. D. 1984. When did San Quentin get its first big break? A. True. B. Two years before the mass. Uh, any time now. What was Millard Fillmore's campaign slogan? A. Vote for me. B. A chicken in every garage. C. None of the above. D. Saints above. Send your answers along with a statement in 25 words or less. In case of a tie, duplicate prizes will be awarded to your nearest living relative. I'm Everett Gaggins with the Mainline's Country Notebook. Today we are going to learn about the ancient art of turkey wrestling. Materials needed, two hands and a turkey. First of all, in attacking the turkey, you must remember that he's dumber than you are. Unless, of course, it's a tricky turkey like this here one. In which case, it's always important to remember to go two out of three with the old buzzer. Well, of course, if the turkey happens to take two out of three, it's always best to know the turkey wrestling shout goes something like this. Happy Thanksgiving, you old buzzer. <laughs> Fell into a dead faint. The old shout works every time. of a mainline crazy. Pick a card, any card. Okay, don't tell me, shuffle it. Okay, put it in your pocket. Okay, now I'll choose a card from the deck at random. This is not your card, right? Why, no it isn't. See? I was thinking of having a full-size replica of myself carved on Mount Rushmore. But I spoke to the sculptor and he said I'd probably have to be continued on another mountain. He laughed, I don't get it. So come on in to see in our lawyers. No suits over forty dollars. Five ninety nine for eight track suits. <laughs> oh, 
Hi, Guy Nice here with the mainline gossip list. Rumor has it that Ma Bell had her hot little ears pressed to the mainline's trunk for two hours the other day. Seems she thought the mainline was doling out free obscene phone calls or something. Well, we don't scare easy. And if Ma Bell wants to pull our plugs, why, she can just go right ahead. We aren't gun 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 And now, the main line presents Shep, Wonder Dog of the Islands. <laughs> Please, Chief McGrabbit, on the phone. Hello, Shep, Wonder Dog of the Islands, an all around cool guy. Shep, this is McGrabbit at 4 and a half o. We need your help. Get over here as soon as you can. I'm on my way. I would have gotten here a little sooner. But I got caught up in the traffic for the Pineapple Festival. What's the problem? A bank heist? Counterfeiters? Gay walkers? It's my coffee. I, I just can't make coffee that the whole gang likes. You can say that again. I wouldn't save that coffee to a dog. Watch it, buddy. What will happen? Will Mrs. Olson sub for Shep? Will Tom the Baker ever marry Tilda the Teller? Join us next time for Shep, Wonder Dog of the Island. If you need me, I'll be at the Pineapple Festival. <laughs> Due to technical difficulties, we are having trouble with the video portion of our mainline transmission. We will, however, continue with the sound. Hello, this is Mainline Miscellanea. Hi, Ed Barbarian for beautiful Bronx Furniture, located in a spacious reconverted garage for some of the best furniture at Bob's decided of the Brea Tar Pit. Because of regular programming, the following special will not be seen. Oh, you know, breaking eggs ain't all there's cracked up to be. <laughs> we interrupt our program to bring you a special bulletin. Good evening, prices are up, trading is down, and the moon is on the rise. This has been a special news bulletin brought to you by the special news bulletin place. Remember, when news breaks out, so do we. <laughs> We know that the main line has more than one number. It's uh, seven six five six thousand. We know this because I hung, that last recording I hung up on, well, I immediately called back and I got a new one. It wasn't busy. File this under mainline miscellanea. We'll be back to the zany antics of the main line in just a moment, but first... Hi, I'm Mother Nature, and this here's my dog, Oleo. <coughs> you know, many's the time I'd just soon bite the leg off a table and to eat breakfast, but I'm the first to admit it, if for no other reason than to have something in your gut when you need it the most, you might as well try Oleo's frozen spaghetti bars. I like to keep one in my back pocket all day long. Ew. <coughs> Start your day off with Oleo's new frozen spaghetti bars. It'll make you take to the day like ugly to an eight. Look for the package in a plain brown can at theaters or drive-ins near you. Okay, I told this joke to the mainline writers, and they didn't really go for it. Wow, oh, that's, that's the worst. Thing. So I decided I'd tell it to you and see what you thought. Check appropriate box. So, okay, I know this guy in Texas who grazes his cattle on AstroTurf. That way, the milk comes out already in plastic containers. <laughs> As a public service, the main line presents the eye, ear, and nose health test. Identify the following sound. Stop. Do not go on to the next page. If you identify that sound as 100 fingernails playing a Hungarian Rhapsody on a blackboard in a locker room in Ohio, you're right. Score 10 points. Identify the following sight. If you identify that sight as two pineapples walking through a rainforest in South America, you are legally blind. Score no points. Identify the following smell. Ah! 
If you identify that smell as that of a new beach ball which has been closed up in a cookie jar and subjected to heat hotter than parts of the sun, you're close. Score five points. If you didn't, you may go to your room. The main line presents special guest writer Mason Williams. Frank the Blank Banker. Fill in the blank with blank. Frank's mind was blank as he entered the first national blank, except for the fact that he knew he was going to rob it. Uh, the blank, that is. He filled out a blank deposit blank with the word... Keep your blank and mouth shut. This is a blank robbery. Put all the blank notes you've got into the sack. These ain't blanks in his pistol. But they were. The stunned blank teller just stood there with a blank look on her face. <laughs> Frank fired a blank to make her hurry up, but she blanked out. The other blankers went crazy and started screaming and yelling. So Frank got his blank out of there, leaving the loot behind. Frank the Blank Bandit had blanked up again, drawing a complete blank. <laughs>